Hi everyone, I'm Kayla, Jordan's younger sister and maid of honor. Before I start my speech, I just want to thank everyone for coming in to help Jordan and Andrew celebrate this special day. I know you guys put a lot of effort into this, and it's crazy to see it all unfold. So I hope everybody enjoys this after Jordan and Andrew. So Jordan and I have always been super close. I'm only 15 months younger than her, so we were always together growing up. We had so much fun playing with the neighborhood kids at the court, making up dances with our friends, and spending time with our family. But everything wasn't always sunshine and rainbows either. Let's just say sometimes I thought my parents should have signed us up for boxing instead of dance class. But through it all, Jordan has always been there for me no matter what. We were even together in university. We took the same program, and today we're both teachers. In my first year, people kept talking about this new dating app that everyone was starting to use. It was a way for people to meet others online that live in their local area. Can anyone guess what it's called? Bumble. <laughs> <laughs> if you guess Tinder, <laughs> if you guess Tinder, then you're right. And the only brave soul in our friend group to give it a go is Jordan. My friends and I were intrigued, but we're too afraid to set up an account for ourselves. So what do we do? We got Jordan to connect her iPhone to the Apple TV so we can help her swipe through the options. <laughs> I know it sounds really weird, but it's actually really entertaining, and I suggest anyone try it. <laughs> Um, uh, somehow, even with many eyes helping Jordan sway, Andrew still managed to slip through the cracks. <laughs> Just kidding. I was happy that she found someone, but I was sad that our shared car soon became her car because she's gone to her every weekend. Um, after a few trips back and forth, she finally introduced us to Andrew, and he's been a part of the family ever since. Jordan and Andrew always made me feel welcome to hang out with them without making me feel like a third wheel, which I appreciate it. They invited me to go to the movies, go to the mall, go out to eat, and I even lived with them for a year until I decided that I wanted to move to the Mountaineer here for good. On Mother's Day, oh sorry, not Mother's Day, on my mother's birthday, October 14th, the three of us had planned to go for a hike. When the weather for that day turned out, turned out being cold and miserable, I was shocked to see that for some reason, Andrew was still bound and determined to go for a hike. Now, for those of you who don't know Andrew, he's an athletic guy who likes to golf and play hockey, but he's not the biggest outdoorsman I know. And if there's anything this guy hates, it's being cold. So I hope you can understand why I was so confused. And on top of that, Andrew hates photo shoots, but for some reason, he was sure to remind me about a thousand times to bring the camera to take some fall pictures for them. So, with much hesitation on Jordan's part because it's too windy and our hair would be in our face for all the pictures, we load up the car and we were on our way. When we got to the top of the bluff and I turned on the camera, I noticed Andrew was starting to act a little bit nervous. Then I saw him take Jordan's hands and start talking to her quietly. I thought to myself, Kayla, this could be the big moment. You better not mess it up. So I started, so I started snapping some pictures and working the angles because after being Jordan's personal photographer for 24 years, I know she likes to have her options. And I'd say I gave her some pretty great ones. Jordan was laughing and crying and smiling the whole way back to the car. I was actually surprised that she didn't fall over the cliff because her eyes were glued to the ring the whole way back to the car. It feels like yesterday, but that was almost two years ago. Since then, we both graduated and gotten great jobs, moved into a beautiful apartment, and became parents to two adorable kids, Morty and Baby. And it's only just begun, so I think we should ask. Hey. Cheers. Cheers to what's to come. Cheers.